So guys, the 212 Mr. Olympia pre-judging just wrapped up and this seems to be your final top 3 callouts. And I won't go into depth as to why I think so, but in my opinion, Derek Lunsford and Sean Clarita should be in the top 2. So um, I figured, let me compare these two with uh, the pictures that we have thus far and let's see how they stack up against each other. And when it comes to the front double biceps, I feel like structurally Derek Lunsford is just he's just dwarfing Sean Clarita let's not uh, sugarcoat it uh, but then again Sean Clarita he is really dry and he has more details and striations especially upstairs now I have no idea why but Derek Lunsford must be the only human being on this earth that looks sharper downstairs compared to upstairs when he dies down i don't know why it's really a wonder guys and i'm just as puzzled as you anyways let's move on now in the front last spread again guys if you look at their chest you can see that sean clarita he's sporting those gnarly striations meanwhile Derek lansford sort of looks soft and the same goes for his shoulders and arms so I have no idea why, but uh, at the downstairs apartment, obviously Derek Lunsford, he's bigger everywhere, but even when it comes to the detail, yeah, he's not as strided as um, Clarita is when it comes to the quads, but his quads are fairly separated and they look pretty conditioned, so yeah guys, upstairs, Lunsford, I mean, of course he's bigger, but he just looks quite a bit softer than Clarita, but downstairs it's more of a... Uh, fair comparison so to speak so let's move on now when it comes to the side chest again guys as all the other poses Derek Lansford just looks huge and dominant meanwhile Clarita is just in much better condition so it's a really really tough call now again guys downstairs Derek Lansford looks quite conditioned and it's really puzzling why he doesn't look so upstairs as well but I think that in this pose or in the side poses, Derek Lunsford sort of edges out Sean Clarita when it comes to the downstairs apartment. Now upstairs, obviously Derek Lunsford has a much wider and better chest in my opinion. But when it comes to the detail, especially in the arms and delts and the chest as well for that matter, Sean Clarita just, he looks to be in much better condition. But yeah guys, it's a really tough call. Now, when it comes to the side tricep, this is basically the same story as the side chest, so I won't ramble on more about that. So let's move on to the back shots. Now, in the back shot, guys, this is really, really weird because if we look at Derek Lunsford's arms and shoulders, he looks like he is almost in guest posting conditioning with all due respect, even the forearms. But when we look at his glutes and hamstring, he looks to be as diced as freaking as freaking Sean Clarita, I guess you could say, because Sean Clarita is also known for his conditioning. I was about to say Harley Chupan, but then I figured why not just say Sean Clarita, because he is in really good shape and he is basically hard everywhere. But then again, guys, I feel like Derek Lunsford, he has more muscle on his back. He is wider and overall... I would give this post to Derek Lunsford, to be honest, even though Sean Clarita is in better condition. When it comes to the back last spread, again, this is the same story, guys. And again, I would still give this post to Derek Lunsford, but this one is a bit closer. I feel like perhaps Sean Clarita has better lap insertions, but that may just be him just sort of leaning back more creating an illusion of lower lap insertions but it's tough to tell but either way i feel like Derek lunsford even though he looks a bit softer and less vascular just has more of that 3d look and again he is just much much wider so i would give him the pose and it's quite obvious if you look at the traps that Derek lunsford is just better in this pose he has a better back and downstairs i feel like Derek Lunsford even wins. He just looks so shredded downstairs. It's just, I don't know, guys. <laughs> I know I've said this a thousand times uh, during this video, but I just find it really, really puzzling. But um, anyway, guys, I could not find 
high quality photos of um, Sean Clarita hitting the Abentai. So I just figured let me use this one from the first call out from the Flex Magazine Instagram page. And in the ab and thigh, I feel like this one has to go to Derek Lunsford, in my opinion. Yeah, Sean Clarita, he looks quite gnarly with all those details and striations and separation and whatnot. But Derek Lunsford just looks much more dominant. He, he looks 100 times more aesthetic. He has a really, really good waistline and midsection and... Sean Clarita, he doesn't have a bubble gut, but he does sort of have a, I don't know if I would say a wider waist, but his waistline is just not as good as Derek Lunsford. I mean, Derek Lunsford can hit a vacuum for God's sake, so there's that. So I'd give this post to Derek Lunsford. And when it comes to the most muscular now, this is where you can make a strong, strong argument for Sean Clarita, especially if you look at their chest delts and arms you can see that Sean Clarita he just has a hundred times better detail and separation and he's just more vascular more strided and so on so it's really tough guys even though Derek Lunsford is a lot more dominant so to speak structurally he's bigger and he's also quite a bit taller it's tough to say guys this is just comparing apples to oranges so I don't know in my opinion I think that Derek Lunsford should win because especially due to the sad and unfortunate untimely death of uh, Georgia Bull Peterson, I believe that he died. Now, we don't know for sure, but I believe that the main cause of his death was him trying to push himself to come in as dry and as shredded as possible. And I don't know, guys, I feel like Derek Lunsford, he's not in great shape, but he's in decent shape and i feel like there should be more emphasis in bodybuilding on sort of muscularity structure shape rather than just coming in as peeled as possible because in my opinion if you look at their width especially in this pose where sean clarita just looks mushed together i mean i don't know guys you can really make an argument for sean clarita but in my opinion i don't feel like either of them would be getting robbed if the other one wins. But in my opinion, I just prefer Derek Lunsford. So I hope he wins. But um, I guess we'll find out shortly. Now, another question is, did Derek Lunsford improve from last year? And in my opinion, I don't quite know, guys. <laughs> I don't quite know. A lot of people seem to think so because he's in the top call out but uh, in my opinion I feel like the main improvement that he made was not in conditioning unfortunately and a lot of people seem to think so but I don't know guys I just don't see him being sharper than last year but I think that he is fuller than last year and he also is a bit bigger you can notice here if you look at his legs they look bigger and he also seems to be just having more of that 3d effect if we go to the back lat spread it is quite obvious that in my opinion at least he just has a much fuller back you can notice in his traps it might be the way that he's uh, hitting the pose i don't know i'm not quite sure but he just looks fuller this year so that's basically it i think that he came in better this year due to his fullness and not his conditioning but i don't know let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and who do you guys think should win should Sean Clarita win again. Should he repeat or should there be a new 212 Mr. Olympia this year in Derek Lunsford? That was it, guys. And before I forget, the pictures that I used in this video to make this comparison was taken from Fernando Arroyo's Instagram page. So I will link that in the description below. Be sure to check it out and give him a follow. And that's it, guys. Leave your opinions in the comment section below and I'll see you guys later.